I know. You spend a lot of time on how to use projector on non-Angular website. So you Google it, you get some suggestions from ng-learn, and the suggestion tell you what? Oh, you need to ignore synchronization and set it to what? Set it to false? Yeah. So what does that mean? That means all your test cases is not going to be aware of all the underlying AJAX and set them out, all these ideas. So that means if you want to test uh, your project in this way, you need to write your own code to wait for AJAX done. Wow, that is very tough. You know what? Um, one best thing I can think of is uh, I need to uh, inject my code on every AJAX done, or maybe just hook on global jQuery AJAX stop. And once the AJAX stop event triggered, then I just do something to tear a projector. Oh, I'm done, so please move on. That one is nightmare. Okay, so, and you might be search on and you go to, oh uh, yeah, the directive website of projector from this place. And basically what tell, what it tell you is, uh, oh, how do I deal with my login page with is non-angular? Mm, maybe you could use this one, this one for a pair. Uh, yeah, I, I have not too much clear idea. My scenario is this. I don't just have my own, uh, you know, I don't just have my login page is non-angular. I have everything, the total project is non-angular. It may be no CalJS or some other, you know, uh, jQuery-based request. So uh, I happen to have this demo website for you. And uh, um, the awkward thing is this one is non-angular. And I really like Projector. Projector is uh, helpful and it has a lot of consideration on on real world testing. So uh, if I use web, web driver directly, that just hassling indeed. Okay, so I would like to use projector on this website, this very website, which is non-angular. How do I do that? Hmm, idea, let me show you. Let me show you the demo first. Bring up my mock server. Okay, among server, this one, it's uh, based on Webpack, Babel, and it's uh, uh, jQuery and boost, Bootstrap base. Okay, with not the mon, that's for sure. Okay, so, and would like to just test on that. How could I do that? Okay, npm run end to end. Let's cross my fingers. See, it's doing a thing. See, I didn't do anything. Okay, search. Now log in. Okay, get fetch AJX from remote. Oh yeah, it's going. It's too fast because this is fast. Okay, so um, if we go to the test case, it's really straightforward. Just like you are testing the real Angular one. Say I. Say so the first one, okay, the, I'm going to, to test my search keywords. As you, you already saw that, it's uh, the, this search keyword, this one, okay. And the second one, it's uh, I'm to show my login avatar of Poland. So let's say I have something here and login. Okay, I would like to see this one. And the third one, it's, uh, uh, I would like to fetch list, fetch tech list of Poland. Yeah, I just have a very 
simple simple list here. So I click fetch, indeed it's fetched from AJX. Uh, all right, so the test case is quite straightforward. I want to, so please get my base URL. See, I didn't wait any AJX or load done or anything load done. Just, just, I just get there. I didn't wait anything. Then it will return me the right thing. And that's the magic. I don't need to wait AJAX. I don't need to wait all the network request. Okay. So I wait it. I uh, have this page object, which is the best practice. We something it basically you just get the element and send some keys. So okay, so I do do something like this, and I expect something equal something very link, not very deep, no link. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I'm sure the second one is is going to uh, require login. So you just click require login, and what does what they do? Just uh, get fetch uh, something, uh, open the website, send my credentials, and then oh yeah, this one is another stuff. So it's very uh, straightforward, and um, it just do the trick. Okay, so you might be curious, how do I coerce projector on non-Angular website? This is kind of uh, technical uh, details. If you don't like it, just stop this video. That's all for you. Yeah. Okay, uh, so the tweak, the major part of this one is I rewrite wait for Angular browser Wait for Angular. This, if you Google it, you will see this one is how Protractor determine whether the whole Angular is loaded or not. So the whole Angular uh, service, the whole compiler, all the stuff loaded. So if this one is not done, then Protractor just wait. So that's how I tweak. I make it wait for my jQuery AJX. If the jQuery, jQuery AJAX is done, then we, we just uh, let it go. And so this one is uh, it's not, not very long, the code indeed. First, I find, Angu find jQuery and, and was wrapped by ensure jQuery. That means jQuery needs to be loaded before I move to next uh, website. And uh, say, while, while refreshing, uh, jQuery is not loaded at the first time, and then jQuery framework loaded, then we can do the next trick. Okay, and um, the other thing is uh, I hook on AJAX start and stop. So if there's any AJAX there, and we just wait. Wait, or the, or the pending request has been resolved. So, yep, if it's resolved, let it go. That's all the major thing. And the other thing is, uh, uh, what well, you you what you need to do is just copy all these clone this project and uh, npm install. Then you have everything. But make sure one thing is since the Chrome driver is already is also being uh, in this place, and this Chrome driver is is uh, installed from uh, what from. Uh, from Google API website, that website is being broke out in China. So you have to enable VPN first uh, before you run npm install. So the Chrome driver could be downloaded directly without any hassle. I don't like GFW. Okay, that's great. Um, so uh, next thing it's. Uh, I would like to advertise my structure of uh, this test testing uh, project. So this testing uh, photo structure is uh, production ready. So what does that mean? That means it has a lot of consideration. It's simple, but let me tell you uh, all the details. So first, it's uh, the, if you go to the configuration of projector, 
so you can see all the stuff is organized by suit first suit can you can you can have your own suit or the top suit and make sure to uh to have your files ready so all the suit is going to be shaded into a uh, multiple instance of chrome testing running in parallel say you have 500 test cases it's going to be that, that mail you just all nine up so you can change this one to 10 if your your mac your or your testing environment is robust enough so you can run more test cases against each file so test them in parallel and it's very helpful and this for the shield as you could see i have a habit in here so this is one suit, the home page suit. Home page suit include uh, this file and its page object. Page object, yeah, testing, testing uh, cases is, uh, is demanding of this structure, page object. That could be reusable. Okay. So yeah, and for others, for others, it's something like the login or some helpful stuff. And the last thing I want to demo you is a very crispy, handy uh, for debugging a test case. Mm -hmm. Okay, say so I have three test cases. I would like to just test one of it. I don't want to run the whole suit just to test uh, against this specific small, uh, small uh, test cases. So it may be all. You may be thinking about that. Okay, I can exit. Oh, I maybe exit a more. Then okay, write, write it. What if you have one hundred files of test cases, which have five hundred test uh, test cases with it? It's going to be another man. So how can I do that? I kind of rewrite this it function in this place. So. If you want to go into more details, it's just 60 lines of code, considering all the comment stuff. So it's small, but it's really helpful. Okay, let me show you. Very interesting thing is I accept another keyword, which is filtering out all this stuff. So I would like to, oh, sorry. Okay, oops, sorry. I just kind of, I don't like what a storm is design. Hazarding. Okay, I want to run all the test cases which has the title fetch tech list. Enter it. So I can see it's going to just run the test, test cases against this one. This stuff. It's log in and it get a list. So I can see. Okay, I didn't run three spec, but just run one spec. And it's telling me, oh yeah, start to run test cases to match what stuff. Okay, so that's the magic, and it's really helpful. And this it, uh, compared to the normal uh it that is provided by just my, it accept this, accept another, another uh, you know this one is kind of the page identifier. Uh, it's the maybe page category. Say I want to test home all the uh, relevant test cases with avatar or all the relevant uh, test cases with search. I may have 10 test cases against this search function. And um, so it's helpful. it's helpful to use this one as another uh, parameters to your test cases. So finally, you may make, okay, please, Test case is all about home, then it's just all about home and search. So it's very helpful to categorize them in uh, real world testing cases. So, and for E2E, it's uh, kind of uh, the test type. Maybe you are going to have end-to-end uh, -end test or you are going to just run from UAT. So you can just use the stuff and pass your different stuff. Okay, please just only run end-to-end -end for me. So end to end that means everything UAT that means uh, from the standing point of user. It's uh, stand for uh, user acceptance test. 
So that is very powerful and it's production ready. For you to copy, please go to Poland's uh, this uh, Lanshun Fund Protect jQuery and clone it and then install it and run it. You can give uh, feedback by uh, open issues. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.